Hello everyone. One might think that flooding would be a good reason to halt train operations, but that's not the case. This crew of engineers in Argentina didn't even slow down while passing through the flooded area. The locomotive engineer failed to switch tracks on the historic Strasbourg Railroad in Pennsylvania. In 2024, a freight train derailment paralyzed life in the city of Sonora, California. On the morning of January the 20th, shocked drivers watched as several tank cars went off the rails and rolled onto a busy intersection, damaging the road and five vehicles. Fortunately, the propane tanks were empty, so the dangerous situation didn't escalate into a catastrophe. According to a spokesperson for the transport company, the derailment was due to soft, saturated soil that compromised the stability of the tracks. In 2010, a train derailment occurred right in the heart of New Orleans, Louisiana, captured by numerous eyewitness cameras. The Canadian National Railway train was en route to the station in Metairie when six of its cars suddenly went off the tracks, with four of them tipping over. Fortunately, no one was injured in the incident. One of the main concerns during such accidents is the presence of hazardous or flammable yeah, cargo. However, in this case, the train was carrying yeah. grain. <laughs> I said one wheel was off the track. During the rainy season, Indian trains turn into water transport. In just one night of intense frost, a thick crust of snow and ice built up on the locomotive. For engineers, the top rule in such extreme cold is to keep the engine running at all costs. There's a short circuit at a station in India where electric wires for trains can carry up to 27,500 volts. Even standing a few meters away from these lines could result in burns, but thankfully, no one came close enough. This is how the city authorities have realized it's time to repair the tram tracks.
<laughs> Careless parking near railway tracks can lead to fatal consequences, and here is the proof. Aquí Notisistema informando. Hasta aquí mi reporte, Joaquín. Dice el tren que le vale verga. Que le vale... In 2018, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania saw its biggest train accident in years when seven freight cars derailed within the city. The situation was complicated by the fact that the train was crossing over an automotive tunnel, causing the cars to roll off and drop from above. Fortunately, the cars were only carrying dog food and mouthwash, not hazardous materials. The railroad has said in the past that Investigators found that the engineer had done nothing wrong, operating the train within the permitted 30 km per hour speed limit. The cause of the accident was ultimately determined to be a broken or cracked rail. The transportation company estimated the damages from the incident at around $800,000. Seeing a collision through the eyes of a train engineer. Bridge accidents are always especially dangerous. Luckily, after the train derailed at the interchange in Kansas City, the engineers managed to respond promptly. While the accident didn't result in any falls or significant damage to the bridge, the engineers had to work hard to remove the damaged cars from such a height. A fire that broke out in an industrial building in Richmond, Canada spread to an old decommissioned railway trestle. The wooden bridge, treated with creosote, a wood preservative, produced thick plumes of black smoke that stretched for kilometers and significantly degraded air quality. Firefighters worked throughout the night to extinguish this unusual blaze. An unusual incident was captured on video in Houston, Texas. One of the cars from an extremely long, empty train derailed for some unknown reason. Remarkably, this didn't seem to affect the overall movements of the train for a while. However, the situation became critical at a level crossing when vibrations caused a wheel set to break loose from the derailed car. In June 2022, a devastating train derailment occurred in the small town of Shiner, Texas. A freight train carrying open coal cars went off the tracks near the town's main intersection, spilling its cargo onto the roadway. 
When did it happen? Fortunately, the flying debris from the cars didn't harm any people or vehicles, but it did cause significant damage to the road infrastructure and knocked down power lines. Most importantly, the accident blocked traffic in that area for nearly a day. Coupler detachment is one of the most common incidents on railways, primarily caused by faulty automatic couplers. Transporting rails is a complex process that calls for strict safety measures. In this case, the workers attempted an unloading maneuver by synchronizing multiple forklifts, a complicated plan where too much could go wrong. The result was a unique accident. The rail car derailed while parked. In the end, it caused an unusual accident a parked rail car came off the tracks. This video was filmed in Moore, Oklahoma. It's alarming when heavy train cars unexpectedly go off the rails just a few meters away from your vehicle. It's best to get away from the crash site as soon as you can. Panic leads to the worst possible decisions. Luckily, the train hadn't picked up full speed yet. Snowfall in southern Britain is an unusual event, typically causing major disruptions in transportation. Fortunately, that's not the case here. The sparks are simply a result of higher heat dissipation on the rails. Don't forget that trains can't maneuver like other vehicles. Oil residues tend to build up over time in a locomotive's exhaust system. When the diesel engine ramps up its power, these residues catch fire and burn within the exhaust pipes, resulting in an impressive sight. You can even drift on the train tracks.
a delightful surprise for all train enthusiasts. Fifteen freight train cars derailed in White Marsh, Pennsylvania. As often happens in such cases, nearby residents were evacuated, especially since the cargo included liquid fertilizers and tetrachloroethylene, a degreasing chemical. Although no hazardous substances leaked this time, incidents like this always pose an environmental risk. Now the NTSB and Federal Railroad Administration are investigating the cause supervising cleanup and will ultimately clear the tracks for Norway's Railway Snowplow in Action – A Spectacular Sight Lisibus Station is one of the most famous train stations in the world, located right within a 19-story building as part of the Chongqing Metro in China. The building, owned by the Metro system, houses numerous offices. This unusual design isn't a whim of architects, it's a solution to the area's challenging terrain, which required the monorail to navigate steep elevation changes. In Thailand's Samut Songkran province, the Meiklong market draws thousands of visitors for its incredible one-of-a-kind atmosphere. This vibrant market is set up right on an active railway line. Eight times a day, a passenger train rolls through, creating a live spectacle. Vendors quickly fold up their canopies and skillfully move their baskets and crates to precise spots just inches out of the train's path. As the train crawls through, it passes mere centimeters from the colorful produce, fruits and diverse goods lining the tracks. This custom developed over the years. When the railway was first built in the early 1900s, local vendors refused to move, and this remarkable practice became a tradition.
Sparks under trams are caused by a weakened connection between the wheels and the tracks. This often happens due to rain or fallen leaves. All train cars in the US have a lifespan of 50 years. After that, they take their final journey before being retired as scrap metal. This is what the last leg of that journey looks like. A train arrives at a snow-covered remote station in the Scottish Highlands, a stunning sight. The Federal Railroad Administration of the United States is responsible for ensuring safety in rail transport. This includes experimental work, such as conducting crash tests to improve standards and regulations for rail operations. For the average person, these collisions vividly illustrate the tremendous amount of energy train operators must handle. The Harz Mountains are a popular tourist destination in Germany, where you can enjoy a ride on an authentic narrow-gauge railway built over a century ago. But even on such an idyllic route, mishaps can happen. Thankfully, in this case, it only led to a few minor scrapes. Diesel engines are rugged relics from the industrial era. Just starting one up is like watching a mini volcanic eruption.
Once it breaks loose, a rail car can accelerate rapidly thanks to inertia, speeding along the tracks like a meteor. Typically, open cars have special drainage holes, but this time the car turned into a pool on wheels. Ha, ha, ha.